we want to graph some linear equations in two variables. Our first one is 4x plus 5y is equal to 20. Now, we're going to graph this by finding a couple of ordered pairs that satisfy this equation. And when an equation is set up this way, where the coefficients of x and y divide this constant term, then the easiest numbers to work with are the x and y intercepts. So let's let x be equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, the equation becomes 5y equal 20, so y is equal to 4. So this has a y-intercept of 4. And then let's let y be equal to 0. Then that term becomes 0, and the equation is 4x equal 20, so x is equal to 5. So I'm going to go over here and graph x equals 0, y equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's that point. And then x equals 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, y is equal to 0. Now what I want to do is draw a line between those two points. And that line will represent the graph of this equation. So I connect those two points with a straight line. And that line is the graph of 4x plus 5y is equal to 20. Every point on this line has coordinates that satisfy this equation. And every ordered pair that satisfies this equation has a graph that lies on this line. Let's look at another equation. y is equal to 3x, uh, 3x minus 2. And so in this case, let's just find a couple of ordered pairs. I'll start with x equals 0, then y is equal to negative 2. And how about if we try x is equal to 2, y is equal to, let's see, 3 times 2 is 6, subtract 2 is 4. Well, there's two points. We could find another point if we want, but these should be good enough. When x is 0, y is negative 2. And when x is 2, y is 4. So when x is 2, y is 1, 2, 3, 4. So that point is on the graph also. Now, what I'm going to do is connect these two points with a straight line. And when I do that, I'm going to have the graph of y equal 3x minus 2. And again, every point on this line has coordinates that satisfy this equation. And every ordered pair that satisfies this equation has a graph that lies on this line. Let's look at one more straight line. y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 1. I want to graph this line. Let's see, again, I can start by letting x be equal to 0. When I do that, y is equal to 0 plus 1, which is 1. Now let's let x be equal to, how about 3? And I chose 3 because 2 thirds times 3 is going to be a whole number. So 2 thirds times 3 will be 2. So I have a negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1. Now let's see how we've done here. x is 0, y is 1. That's that point. x is 1, 2, 3. y is negative 1. That will be that point right there. Now if I connect those two points with a straight line, I'll end up with the graph of this line, y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 1. So to graph straight lines, we'll find two or three points on the line, plot those points, and then draw a line between them.